And joining me now are two state officials central to making decisions about whether, when, and Thank how you. their state should reopen. I'm Dr. Scott Harris. He's the state health officer for the Alabama Department of Public Health. And Dr. Janae Caldoun, Chief Deputy Director for Health for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you both for joining. And so I want to start with you, Dr. Harris, uh, since Alabama's doing a little more opening right now than Michigan, although you're compared to some of your southern neighbors, I, I would argue you guys are being a bit more cautious than others. But tell me the metrics you used that gave you in the, uh, the confidence to advise the governor at beginning some phased in reopenings. Sure. Uh, so we, we have followed a, a number of metrics like I think most states have, in, including the White House plan for reopening um, the, the gating criteria that I, I'm sure you've talked about many times on this show. We're certainly part of the things that we mm -hmm. consider. We have not fully satisfied all of those gating uh, criteria in terms of cases per day, but we felt very good about our syndromic surveillance numbers. We felt very good about our hospital capacity. And so what our governor uh, chose to do was to make a very measured uh, step, uh, a, a very gradual reopening uh, of certain types of businesses. Uh, the, we, we did not proceed to a full phase one reopening uh, like uh, was uh, in the White House plan. Uh, things like entertainment venues right. and gyms and in-person in dining, we have not chosen to do that so far. But we think this is a, a, just a gradual first step. What data are you missing, um, Dr. Harris, that you wish you had, but you just whether it's capacity or other reasons you don't have? Yeah, there, there are a number of things. I, I think clearly uh, we would like to make sure we're testing to the, to the level that we would like. Um, we probably have a total amount of laboratory bench capacity to do the number of tests uh, that we would like to do. But that, those tests are really unevenly distributed throughout the state. Um, if, if you're in a, a, a bigger, uh, more urbanized part of our state, like Jefferson County, where Birmingham yeah. is located, or, or, or Madison County, right. where Huntsville is located, uh, you can probably have really good access to testing whenever you like. But in some of our more rural parts of the state, we are able to get testing done, but there are definitely yeah. barriers there for people to obtain that, particularly if they have to find transportation or they don't have ready access to a health care provider. Um, and, and we've also been surprised to find that we, we have not right. necessarily gotten negative test results reported to us. It, it's hard to come up with a good denominator uh, so that we know the percent positive of tests right. we have. Um, and, and so it, we have reached out to all the labs who report to, the, to us, but many right. of them are out of state, and it's just difficult to get all that information. Dr. Caldoun, let me uh, ask the question sort of a, a slightly different what are you seeing in your state that makes you uncomfortable advising the governor to begin even a partial phase one reopening? Yeah, so here in the state of Michigan, we have over 43,000 uh, cases and over 4,000 deaths. And so we are actually third in the country uh, when it comes to states and the number of deaths. While we've seen certainly significant improvements over the past several weeks, our hospitals were over capacity, particularly in the southeast area of the state uh, several weeks ago. We are still having parts of the state that are seeing an increase in the rate of rise of cases. And we know that their hospital capacity is, is not what it should be. Uh, we have to get our testing up, as I know people across the country are working on. So while we are cautiously right. optimistic, uh, we still think we need to be very careful. All right, but Dr. Caldoun, what do you say to those in the state who are going, you know what, yes, Southeast Michigan is being hit hard. Um, are you not comfortable having sort of a um, let's isolate parts of the state, tougher stay-at-home measures for Southeast Michigan, let's loosen things up in more rural parts of the state? Why are you not there yet? So we actually look at this data on a daily basis regionally. And so again, we are still seeing, for example, on the Western side of the state, that there are actually increases in the rate of rise of cases. We have several outbreaks there. Uh, we also know, again, in some of our rural areas, the number of hospital beds is actually not what it should be. And many of our hospitals in our rural areas are actually at capacity. So every part of the state is different. Even in Southeast, quite frankly, mm -hmm. even though we're seeing a decrease in the rate of rise, we're still seeing many, many cases and many deaths every day. So we're gonna be working on uh, loosening or, or dialing up as far as uh, how we're reopening mm -hmm. the economy. The governor has actually already started that, but we really have to do it in a incremental data-driven uh, approach. I, I imagine both of you are feeling pressure 
whether it's pressure from friends and family tired of the quarantine, pressure from friends of yours who maybe run businesses, or full-on political pressure. Uh, Dr. Caldoun, let me start with you. How have you handled it? And if, if you've been getting, how have you handled the public blowback? And how do you strike that balance in your own head where you feel like you're giving full-on medical advice versus let me give you the best medical advice I can for the policy you want to implement? So, you know, this is, this is certainly not personal. Uh, people hire me to give medical and public health advice, and that is what I do. Uh, I talk to the governor and, and, and other folks in the governor's office on a regular basis to tell them the facts. These are the number of tests that we are currently doing. This is where we want to be. This is what's going on with our hospitals. And, and again, if, if we uh, don't do well with these social distancing measures, more people will die, and, and that is just the facts. Dr. Harris, how have you? Uh, how much have you felt that pressure? I, I mean, obviously, it's significant, as you know. I mean, there are you know many Alabamians that, that just don't have the option of, of making a living, you know, under certain health orders. Um, we have to, to find a way to strike the, the right balance there. I, I think our governor, Governor Ivy, has done a great job of trying to balance the health of the economy with the health of, of average Alabamians. Uh, my job in public health is to give her the best uh, health information I can. We pr uh, present the data on, on how, just as Dr. Caldoun said, on, on how many cases we have and, and what our deaths look like. Um, I, I think Alabama has been a, a little bit different. You know, every, every state's different, and there's, you know, 51 different plans for reopening, I guess, because we're all trying to right. look at the data and make our own decisions, you know, with the best information that we have about how to proceed. Um, but but there, there are people who are, are certainly... Uh, want to maintain their livelihoods, they want to maintain their businesses, and we have to balance that with, with the, keeping everyone safe and healthy as much as possible. Dr. Harris, are you concerned that Georgia has been more aggressive? And, you know, for instance, uh, Senator Doug Jones in Alabama has encouraged Alabamians to be careful traveling to Georgia. Well, it's obviously we look, we look at that very closely. You know, uh, there, there's certainly some good aspects about having you know, every state having its own plan because every state is a little bit different. But but clearly, you know, all states affect the others. And, and so we're watching that very carefully. You know, uh, what we've done in, in Alabama, I think, is, is, again, have this sort of measured approach. And, and I, I think what I've heard many states say and, and what our governor has certainly said is that these aren't steps forward that are just going to ratchet forward and can never come back. You know, these are gradual steps. And, and we certainly, you know, right. uh, will consider uh, dialing things back if we see an increase in cases. And so uh, I, I think that's the, the right. approach that probably all states uh, would want to take. Um, we see where we are after changes are made and then make right. changes if necessary. Dr. Caldoun in Michigan, Dr. Harris in Alabama, thank you both uh, for sharing your expertise in the uh, sort of the regional uh, observations that you both, are, are, both can share with the country. Good luck you, and uh, stay healthy out there. Thank you.